All right, and we're back with more Dog on Let's check that time. I told you we'd be back on Friday. <laughs> Let's see. The time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. Might be better if I spend my time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to, or it might be a good idea just to stay in my room and conserve my energy. <laughs> We're gonna do as we usually do, and go to sleep. It's not my usual bed, but I should try to rest a little bit on this flimsy futon. Where's Hajime been? I think he's been sleeping, like, all day. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going back to his room. Man, must be tired. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even in my- I have my limits. I'm hungry. Uh oh Ooh, I heard that! What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day! It's so jeez if you- if you- to do this what what am i reading it's so g's of you to do this that all i could say is g's Viva killing you should just stop trying to be so stubborn hurry up and start just killing already you should just stop being so stubborn hurry up and start killing already what do you want what, what? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News! Well, I have some news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. Yeah! <laughs> in order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So, everyone, please gather at Grip Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility to figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye bye Okay then, bye! Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use, my stomach feels so empty, I can't stop thinking about food. But I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pains. And went to sleep. So! Today you're interviewed a random stranger on the street and asked him, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves, and he can't live without me. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she had rolled in middle life. Those are the results! This is troubling! No, oh, I'm so loved, I don't think I'll be long to one person for a while. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? Sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. To recall, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Was it upstairs or downstairs? Wait, what? Oh, Grape Tower.
Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Ah, man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here nearly in the morning. This is about you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So, so we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so you obviously were more tired than you guys. Enough! Stop whining. Hey. <laughs> you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn it. We got a lot of nerve coming here. Um, now that we have all... Now that we have all gathered here, so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no! Oh, I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey! Hey! You're losing your pride because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering the service so that you can feel all healthy again. Shoo! Yahoo! From this day forward, I'd like to make you... From this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. <sighs> make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, two. Control your breathing. Slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are. Relax. Your body and mind. This is clearly affecting my hunger. How exactly do we have hey, to do over this? There. Don't dawdle! We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Fuck yeah. off. We did a bunch of pointless exercises thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever. Hungry. Can't move. You guys. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do it again tomorrow. Unless something bad happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. That is. Y you intend to keep making us do this. Damn it. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it! Enough already. How much longer is this gonna last? This is troubling. Didn't he say? Until the killing starts? This, too, must be the will of causality. It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I might as well... What are you saying? Calm down! Shut up! Shut up! Fucking calm down! Damn it! There's no food! There's no way to escape! If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death! Hey! Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I I'd rather have that happen to us than to have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor! What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all! What are you saying? Hey! Fess up! You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I, I swear, d you better- Stop! Uh, so... Making a scene is just gonna make us hungrier, so let's just calm down for now. <laughs> You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't gonna change. It appears you cannot escape. Wait to die from impending starvation. Or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it- a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're gonna choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. Conversation ended there. It seemed nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So we silently left Grape Tower. just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone else is doing.
It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. Hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. This keeps going. This keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No. If I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. An exit. I need to find an exit. Where is it? Where the fuck is the exit? Final the final dead room is a challenge given to you by the Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life ending game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. <sighs> now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody's gone inside there yet. That life threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right. It's definitely it. I should. I should go. I should go to the final dead room. Barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Holy. You are slow. Alright, so we gotta take the elevator out. Even the sprint is slower than, like... The regular walking pace. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If... If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll... Be able to go to the octagon place, right? That's... That's where the exit should be! I did it! I finally did it! I finally figured out where the exit is! I can get out! With this! I can finally get out! You can't do that. Cause it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. <laughs> That's not true, Chiaki. The, the exit's gonna be there. There is no exit. All that's there is a life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Akane. Right? Okay? Chiaki and I went back to the grape house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything else makes. I'm on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay just to lay here and take it, or...? This morning I couldn't help feel angry. That I said what I said in front of everyone, but... I, I don't really think it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I begin to feel faint and lost consciousness. Hmm? What was that? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe... I'm just... confused. Oh, maybe the elevator broke, so we're gonna be trapped over here then. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. Yeah, because that's the only mechanical thing in here. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Yeah, I think the elevator is the only thing that can make that sound, so like... EMERGENCY! EMERGENCY! I have been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his prize. This is pride, because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to be fat. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job, and at night he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money he spunnies off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. Shocking! About myself. My body won't move. This, this never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. So it's really cold. 
fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go, Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster up what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? I felt incredibly weak from hunger. I managed to drag my heavy body out to the lounge. It's already five minutes till seven. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's just go to Grape Tower. Oh, man, you're even slower. Oh, hey. Probably take five minutes to get there. Hajime, good morning. Uh, Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She, she's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um, Just the corner is fine. So, may I take a bite out of you? Um, you get a stomachache. No! Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too? You about to head over to the Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. And I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It's very sudden. It's right, it's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. What? Oh, well, he was the loud thunk. I guess the elevator's fine. <laughs> On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Well, alright. He just got back, too. Like, that's, that's messed up. He just got back. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I finally was able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why is this... Why is this happening? It, it, it's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. This is a nightmare. Please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. That is impossible. No, this is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation, the body discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Can't, can't deny this truth, but why? As usual. It's the only word I could squeeze out. Hey! What happened? Akane. Move. Move! Move it. Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die... again? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time! <laughs> Damn it. How cruel. This this is too much. Why? Why did Nagamaru have to die? Though his, his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this keep happening? No matter how much I try to stop it, this always is the result. Is this something I can't, Damn can't it. stop? Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you! Who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Hiya! Looks like someone has finally pumped up! You! Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? What? What Don't do you want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to all this trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead, <laughs> and he suddenly ends up dead again? 
How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. Oh, you know, because he's a robot. You talking about Nekomaru? Yes. Akane, calm down. Phew. Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Um. Madakuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. Hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> I guess it was a waste of time to ask In him. other words... A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So... Even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. It's the Monokuma File! Although this is a gift from me to you... Red bean bread and milk! <laughs> I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, <laughs> if you don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for the class trial. Damn it. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekamara. I won't forgive you. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm going to eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. <laughs> you're right. If we're going to avenge ne Nekamara, we got to regain as much energy as we can. I'm going to eat. See? Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it. I never expected I'd feel as terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat slowly. It'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you got your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it! The killer and you. I'm going to beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However... Regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys at Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Hmm. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we have Monokuma Tai Chi. Unbelievable. How unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you going to do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone... Ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best! <laughs> now do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. I hear something. Um. What do you hear? Huh? Could it be Nakamaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's already dead. Yo! Oh, well, now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear um. anything. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? Huh. They're going to come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. I should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. <laughs> Alright, and we're going to start the investigation next time. But we're going to look at the Monokuma file first. The victim is Nekomaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs were detached, but it looks like they separated due to severe impact. Does that mean Nekamaru was repeatedly clubbed by some sort of weapon? But is there any reason they needed to club, club him over and over again? Alright. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!